Hey friends, Lakeisha Sarba here, your favorite digital product launch strategist and online marketing expert. I have a question for you. Have you ever thought when you were inside of Canva, how I wish that I had Word document in here or Google Docs? right here inside of Canva. Well, if that's you, my friend, I have great news for you. Canva just released Canva Docs, and now you have something compatible, something that's really compatible to a Google Doc or a Word document. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how that goodness is. But before I do, make sure that you please subscribe and um, follow this channel because you will find more things about Canva, digital marketing, and of course, creating profitable digital products right here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to um, share my screen with you so that you can see what's happening here. So um, when I was using Canva, it just magically popped up for me. But I noticed that now it is located here on my dashboard right here under docs, right? When you click on the docs option, it will then bring up this welcome because if it's your first time using it, it's gonna kind of share everything with you. And Canva does a really great job of breaking down and walking you through all the different things that this document does. All right, so you can use the plus button if you are on desktop, if you are on mobile, it's gonna look a little something like that. Um, it also has a magic right, which is great. I'm excited that Canva brought in an AI tool in here to help with creating content or at least content ideas, which is really cool. You can easily add designs to your Canva document as well. You can embed your other Canva designs right here inside of it. You can add bitmojis for fun, and you can also invite team members and, um, you know, friends to collaborate within the actual document, which I think is also pretty awesome. So for time's sake, I went ahead and I created a document already. It was super easy for me to create this. I think I did it probably in about five minutes or so. And um, I just created a title, I, I added an image, my own image, and then I used the super AI tool um, to create this, um, content that you see here. So I didn't create the content. I allowed the AI to create the content here. Okay. So this is the content that the AI tool created. Let me show you exactly. Um, I'll show you exactly how I did each of these when I'm done walking you through. Um, here is the, um, here is, um, I added just a chart. So this is just a line chart or a bar chart. I added that to the document as well. I added a second header. And then I also used the AI tool again to generate even more content. I know I'm going to really love this AI feature. And then here I also added a video, which I think is pretty cool to add a video here. The only thing about this though, since this is a document, if you will be downloading it as a PDF, guess what? the video is not gonna play. So there is no reason to kind of use video here because it's not going to play at all. Um, but if you are going to be converting this document into a presentation, which Canva has, you have the easy capability to do that um, right here where it says convert at the top there, you can convert this document into a presentation and inside of the presentation, the video will play. So again, if you're gonna be downloading this document as a PDF, don't use video. However, if you plan on using it as a presentation, then feel free to go ahead and go crazy with video. Okay. All right. So let's go back up to the top here. And um, how I did this is I decided that I wanted to, I needed a topic to start with. So let me go ahead and make some space there. And so I use this little plus sign here inside of this plus sign, you have the option for magic. You can design a, like create a whole new Canva design right inside of here, just opens up a whole new Canva window. You can add header, subheader of uh, the body. You can embed more designs in here. You can add a table, a checklist, a bullet list, numbers list, emojis. You can add pie charts, line charts, um, bars, graphics. You can bring in photos, videos, logos, or you can even get help for this feature, okay? So that's what this is all about. So we're gonna start with the magic right? Because it is so amazing. And I'm just going to put in what I put in last time. And that was five digital um, marketing tips, right? 
and I'm just going to press enter. And now the AI is going to do the work. So right now it says it's brainstorming ideas. It did take a little bit, not long though, just a couple of seconds for it to kind of gather information. And then it just inserts the information right here inside of the actual document. So right here, right? So here are five digital product um, digital marketing tips to help you get started, define your target audience, use social media, right? And these are just really short tips and snippets. You can, of course, go in further and deeper to each one of these, right? You can decide, okay, so if I, you want to go further, you can add more content to it. You can add an image. You can do some other stuff. If you want to really kind of add more of your own content or more of your own feel or, you know, um, add more of your personality into the content. I think this is a really great start um, to get it started. Now, this is my second time doing this. And I'm really happy that it did not use the same content. It's really different content that it used here. The second time that I searched for the same type of content. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So that's how you use the AI. You can use it as many times as you want in a document. I've used it once, twice. Um, I am, am, I brought in this pie, this actual chart by just clicking this here and then going down to the bar chart. So it was just really that simple. Um, I added a, I added um, a subheader here by clicking subheader. And then I decided to add some more AI text right here by um, doing something about Twitter, right? And so it put in that information. And then for my video, I just went over here to my uploads and then I went over to my videos and then I just found the video that I wanted and I just added it right here inside of the document, right? So it is really that easy just to go in and do this, okay? Now, let me show you what this would look like if you were to um, convert this, right? One thing that I wanna do here is I wanna add another image because there's a lot of text right here. So let me go in, I'm gonna upload one of my, oh, let's see, upload one of my images. See if I can find something here. Oh, not videos. Let's find an image, image, image. Let's see, can we find something? Yeah, I can just do, we'll just do a, let's do a screenshot of that, right? And it's that simple. All you got to do is just click and it just automatically positions it wherever your cursor is here. And if we wanted to kind of break it up a little bit by adding a subheader here, right? Sales pages that convert. And then if we want, we can center that. We can bold the text, right? We can make it bigger if we wanted to do that. We can even change the color of the font, right? If we wanted to just do that, okay? So that's something that we could do here. And then we would have our text right under that next image there. Okay, so now let me show you about the converting. So you go up here to the top where it says convert, the top left, and then get started. Um, you will see that it will create an actual presentation for you and it gives you a couple of different options. Um, for me, it's not very functional and I don't think for anybody it would be, it's a lot of content on one page. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a lot. Um, let's see if we switch to a different presentation style, if it makes a difference. I just think that they have a little bit of work here to do, yeah, when it comes to the presentation piece. It's just not um, friendly enough for me. You know, I, I would still have a lot of work to do with the slides, with breaking down the content, adding more images. Um, now, maybe it would be different if we added more images to the actual document and maybe the presentation would be different um, because what it's doing is just kind of taking the text and breaking it down. Um, I'm sure what we could do though is probably add images um, to the slides though and um, it would probably um, leave less time for that. So if we wanted to generate this, we would just say create presentation. It would just create a presentation for that. Um, Another thing that you can do here is you can design right here inside of Canva. It'll bring up this little circle and then it'll kind of think a little bit and then it'll bring up a Canva 
a whole nother Canva window right on top of this one. And then it will allow you to design something. And then you can just automatically, you save it and it just automatically drops it right into the space where this cursor is. So it's really cool um, on how like you can do that. And I'm just gonna pull something from one of these templates for time's sake. So let's see. Um, let's do, we'll do, do this one. So we'll click that. And then of course we can come in and change it, put our image or our name, but then we'll just save it. And then it'll just drop it right here. So it's an actual um, design, is it? Yeah, it's an actual design. And if we wanted to, say if we wanted to replace the header at the top, we could just click, hold down our mouse and then move it, reposition it. And then if we wanted to delete this one, we could, and then we can have that at the top, right? So that's pretty cool that you can like design things and then just put them right inside of the, out of the document here. And then you can actually resize if you want to as well, okay? And again, it acts exactly like a regular document. So that would be a Google document or a, um, a Word document. So that's what you have there, okay? You have your spacing, you have your alignment, you have your, um, your spacing, you have spacing, um, you have your font, you have your font, you have your font size, and you have your font colors. You have the bold, the italicized, and the underline. You can also even link to text here. So if you wanted to link out to something else in this text, you can highlight the text and then go to link and then put in the URL to where you want to link to. Um, and then it gives you some other options for copy, paste, comment, and then of course link again, okay? So these are all the different things that you can um, do here inside of this document. The very last thing that I wanna show you is how to download this document as a PDF. So you would go to share and then you go to download and then you go to, I'm gonna choose letterhead. You can do legal, A4, A3. And then you go to download. And what it'll do is it's gonna download everything for us in a PDF document. And if we click this PDF document, and this is what we'll see. So we have the doc, you know, the content that we created. It did split this, which is really weird, um, especially with it being an image, it put it on two pages. So we could quickly, easily, I'm sure fix that just by going in and putting some space between that so that everything is all, all on one page there, all right? But this is what's in there is our little hyperlink that we added. Right. And then remember, I said about the video, the video is not going to show up here. So if you did want to still embed a video, it's going to come out as an image. You can easily just add a button or text below that says click to view video. And then you can have that URL take them to where the video is hosted, like YouTube or somewhere else. Right. So that is it. I just wanted to walk you through how you can use Canva. Um, to create documents like Word documents, PDF documents, okay? So that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. Feel free to comment if you have any questions below. I look forward to sharing more videos like this with you in the future, right? Thanks for joining me and ciao for now.